The 13th Miss Supranational 2022 pageant is only weeks away. So, here are our top 13 hot favorites for the Miss Supranational 2022 title. Jin Dobre, hello everyone, and welcome to Crown Sisters. In today's episode, I give you a Miss Supranational 2022 third leaderboard top 13 favorites. But before we begin, please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Sikina Be, I know you want to. Let's get started. First up, at number 13, Poland, Akatadovia. After the Miss Universe competition, this Slavic beauty is ready to compete again, but this time in her native land, Poland, the home of the Miss Supranational stage. She's one of the strongest candidates from Europe this year, but she needs to work more on her passerella and her facial expressions on stage. After Poland's success in Miss World, are we looking at the second Miss Supranational from Poland? Let us wait and see. At number 12, Germany, Jasmine Selberg. Originally from Estonia, this 22-year-old is focused, ambitious, and she knows what she wants. Apart from her solid advocacy, she also has a strong social media presence. In 2021, she competed at Miss Globe and was the social media winner. Under the watchful eyes of her Filipino national director, her overall styling is always on point. I expect to see her adorned with some Filipino creations. Our 11th spot goes to Trinidad and Tobago, Christine Copicus. From day one, I have loved this girl, and I know she has a fantastic project, but she barely posted it on her Insta, which is not good, as her fans would love to see this part of her campaign. She is an aspiring aerospace engineer. It's no wonder she's aiming for the stars and hoping to pick up a crown on the way. At number 10, Indonesia, Adinda. Rishila. Dinda grew up in a very masculine family culture of race car drivers where she learned how to be fiercely competitive. The Indonesian diva wants to educate the public about the importance of empowering women and eliminating stigma based on gender. The big question is, will Adinda take the super crown for Indonesia? At number 9, we have... Venezuela is Melis Velasquez. Fresh from winning her national pageant, our Venezuelan Dixon was Miss Mesoamerica International 2021 and the current Reina Internacional del Café 2022. She is a very experienced candidate and one of the best representatives from Venezuela on the Miss Supranational stage. Our number 8 spot goes to Mexico, Regina Gonzalez. This year, Mexico is sending a strong candidate. The 19-year-old graphic designer is almost the complete package. Her looks are extremely commercial and her passarela is effortless. I can't wait to meet this gorgeous senorita in Poland because this year, Mexico has a chance to win the blue and white crown. Joining our list at number 7, Peru. Almendra Castillo. She has one of the most beautiful faces in the batch. She may be a bit small, but during her national final, she was my favorite to win the Miss Universe Peru 2022 title. Beautiful inside out. I can see our Inca warrior princess taking home the ultimate prize for Peru. Just outside our top 5, at number 6, the Philippines, Alison Black. I was at the Miss World Philippines Finals and witnessed her win. During our post-coronation interview that evening, she came across as eloquent, charming, and full of personality. If she can channel this personality into her passerella, 
she would be the one to watch this year. Making it in our top 5, Thailand. Prao Prawani Kringtong. She was one of my favorites during the Miss World Thailand 2019. And in 2020, she's one of the sought-after candidates in Miss Universe Thailand. And now, the favorite to win Miss Supernational. Prao has done all her homework. And she's stronger than ever to be the second Miss Supernational winner from Thailand. At number four, Colombia, Valentina Espinosa, another exciting candidate from the Latin region. She's the Senorita Colombia who didn't go to Miss Universe, but this Amazonian queen is not done yet, being one of the strongest candidates in the competition this year. Don't be surprised to see this girl fighting for the crown and even going all the way. In the third spot, we have Vietnam, Nguyen Kim Du Yen. Vietnam made it to the top 16 of Miss Universe last year, but our philanthropist wants to wear an international crown. She is eloquent and has the advantage of being a fluent English speaker. After Vietnam's recent success in Miss Grand International, I believe that Nguyen has also a big chance to do really well this year. And just behind our current leaderboard, at number 2 spot, South Africa, Lalela Miswane. Lalela almost had the Miss Universe crown after placing second runner-up in Israel. She is captivating and her communication skills are one of the strongest. And after Tato Moselle's placement last year and Lalela's placement in Miss Universe, Rainbow Nation expects to get noticed this year and even win their first Miss Supernational crown. And finally, our number one spot goes to India, Ritika Katnani. From walk to talk, India seems to be getting it together and has been on a roll recently. Her recent head-to-head -head challenge proves that she is in a league of her own. She may be one of the youngest candidates, but she is probably the most prepared candidate in the competition. Ritika was my predicted Miss Supernational winner during the Miss Diva 2021 finals. With the proper styling and a bit of luck, we could be looking at the third Miss Supernational winner from India. Which of these ladies do you think deserves to win the crown? If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And always remember, if you can't say anything nice, then don't say anything at all.